We love There's an auction going on for 33% of Rockefeller Records. Mm -hmm. The 33% that Dame Dash has. Um, let me see if I could pull up something here on the gram. So TMZ reports that Dame Dash will have uh, will have his bid 33.3% interest in Rockefeller sold by a U.S. marshal at the public auction on August 29th, so end of this month. The starting bid is 1.1 million. That's it? Yeah, yeah. They're starting low, but who knows where it's going to end. So they're forcing an auction because he owes money? Yes. And then they're going to take that money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does yeah. he get to keep the profit? No. Um, I do not think so. Oh, just that getting sucked. his name. That guy's built his company. name out of hot water right now. Well, now with this, that's like something that's going to be up for auction. Yeah. Either Jay and those guys can swoop in. Because in this Rockefeller, um, in that stake in Rockefeller, also in there is the Reasonable Doubt album. Reasonable Doubt. Okay. Jay's, you know, his, his first born album. You know what I'm saying? But, sorry. Hmm? But if it, it might not be Jay who sweeps, sweep, it's an auction. Yeah. Anybody can go get that. He was just shouting out, but not to just say Drake's name, but he wanted Drake to buy it, supposedly. That's allegedly. a good candidate. Jersey Drake can go scoop that up. He has enough money. Mm -hmm. Dr. Drake can scoop that up. He got enough money. Yeah, but that, that's probably the back end plan. Like you make someone like Drake pick it up, mm. own it. Then after Jay comes back and buys it from him. Possibility. But who's to stop someone like Martin Shkreli who bought the freaking Wu-Tang yeah. album from just outbidding these guys? All that. All that. Right? Yeah. It is the, a Martin Shkreli type. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Who just scoops in? Richard, I got billions or, or of dollars. The guy, the guy who does the white parties? Uh, Mark Cuban. Mark, no, uh, no, Mark Rubin. Mark Rubin. Yeah, yeah, he can go scoop that up. There's other, there's other people in the even in the music game that can go so scoop that, that up. The one, the one that be hanging out with um little baby. Yeah, Mark Rubin. Mark Rubin, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He can yeah. go scoop that up easy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Go scoop that up, but why would he? I think they just should to have it. I hear you, but this is something of like stay out of the way. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, this is a stay out of the way situation. You know what I mean? There's a certain person that's supposed to pick that up so it could come back around to this to Jay. Jay can never buy nothing from this guy. It's like he threw I, someone. If I'm Jay. Yeah, I'm already hit. I've already hit Drake from ten years ago. Like, yo, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna be the richest rapper in the world, and you're gonna turn around and buy this for me. Mm. You're gonna come back, and we're always gonna make it look like me and you had odds and ends, and then this is where we become business partners. You know what I'm saying? You own Rockefeller because J. I think Drake would always want it to be under Rockefeller. Well, he's a collector of things, right? Of, yeah, of hip hop so. memorabilia. So imagine owning a percentage of Rockefeller. You yeah. could, oh my God, the bars, oh the bars God. you could stunt with. Well, first of all, you could sell off because you're probably getting a deal if it's at an auction. Mm -hmm. You could sell off stuff. I wonder if it comes with any type of executive decision making. Like, are you on the board of directors now? Like, are you overseeing? Their productions, like, he, could he use it as another label? No, like, he it wouldn't make sense. He already it. has no, because it, he could relaunch it. Because remember, there's not under no OVO. Rock. No, but it's, it's remember, it's just only a thirty three point three percent stake, right? Yeah. Jay and 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 um, Biggs, right. they own the rest. Mm, okay. Yeah. So, and Rockefeller is not in business anymore. No, nope, like you're just saying. talking about back catalog at this point. Yeah. Right. So you can license that catalog for movies. You can do a bunch of different things. They don't you know release new music under Rockefeller? No. It's no. like Rock Nation, no. whatever, whatever, right? But Rockefeller you, folded no. like years ago. But what, what about Rockaware? Is it in there? Well, ain't nobody buying Rockaware now. Oh, no, but you remember when we used to wear it. Like, I don't, I don't know if that is something that falls under the Rockefeller yeah, yeah. ownership. And if it is, like, what, bring back Rockefeller? Bring Rockefeller back clothing? <laughs> Rockefeller? Yeah, 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 you would. You would. <laughs> I don't know if that would, I would go over in 2024, 2025, I would, man. I would new designers and everything. Oh, that shit man. Flies. But, like, yeah, that's mainly because you have catalog and you have Reasonable Doubt. You own 33.3% of Reasonable Doubt, yeah. Jay-Z's first album, while he was still selling drugs type album. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm feeling it. you can make money in the future because people do license these songs and stuff like that mm -hmm. but also you have bragging rights like crazy you know what i'm saying now it doesn't have to only be drake because there's a lot of people with more money than drizzy out here in this in this not just music game just 
period. Like a sultan could sweep in and be like, yeah. I want that. Yeah, <laughs> well, but you would fight hard for that consultant not to get it because he, it doesn't mean anything to him. No, I mean a sultan, like a like a sheikh, a, like, like a rich Arab somebody comes or in with some oil money and says, let me get that. Oh, a sultan. <laughs> yeah. I've always liked this album. Actually, it's my favorite, my son's favorite album. Yeah. So I think I'm going to buy the company. I want 33%. Yeah. <laughs> Give me it. How much for 50? And it'll never come back to Jay because it's the highest bidder. Jay, if he's smart, send somebody in there that That's got like I, a mm, Billy mm, that don't represent Rockefeller. Mm -hmm. Maybe the Drake angle, that, that'd be cool too, to right? Him. But send somebody in that's like some other LLC, da, 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 but they got like a Billy on stash so yeah, just in case okay. it gets hairy in there. Like a rich friend. Yeah. And then I, buy it back from him for like a dollar. I, I just strongly believe it's going to be Drake because of all the times people have said Jay-Z doesn't like Drake. Mm. And you know Drake is like a slight, you know. Petty. Yeah, that would be a real turn on man thing to do. Yo, now I own thirty three percent of your thing. Well, he bought Pharrell's chains. That yeah. was like a million and change. that down. But he never melted it. He never melted it. Was it was just a bar. So it was a cool I bar. I wish. Because remember, he was wearing it in the Family Matters video. I know. Or something. I know. He's like, ah, pump fake. <laughs> Allen Iverson crossover. I still got these. I still got these. You ain't got these. But yeah, thirty three point three percent up for up for auction. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know if we put together enough. I mean, you think that we can go pull up and... Well, I can't get across the border. Yo, yo, Jay, go buy that. <laughs> Let's go buy that. Bring that back. I'll just get a, do a couple more back. weddings and I can do it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so anybody out there in the, in the audience too, if y'all got 1.3 million, I think it is to start with. That's the starting? That's the starting bit. Oh, it's going to go up, bro. It's probably going to be like 50 mil, bro. Last thing, yes. What do you all think it's going to end at? 50. 50, you say 50 mil? What do you say? A hundred. hundred mil? How about you? That room's going to be hot. When is that auction? Maybe I hope they stream the, it. The 29th, yo. August 29th. For all you know, babies in the room. Cash oh, money. yeah. Like, I forgot what? about freaking no um, play. Baby and Slim. Yeah, They both bro. be standing there. Like, let me get that. Woody. Uh, when, when, they, when they get to 10 million? Uh, 11 million. Woody. Or they just put their little thing Keep up in the air and up. then the person like, oh, no, 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 like we don't got it, but it's not a lot, fam. There's a lot of people who got 150 million. That's in a dollar multi billionaires. <laughs> not even the multi billionaires, like the multi millionaires in rap who's made good yeah. money over these like last 20 years. Yeah, there's guys who have that on stash. Like, yeah, it might be a a quarter of their money, but like I got it. Yeah, they could double something. Yeah, like Dr. Dre, like I mentioned earlier, he's a billionaire. He can get that. Yeah, but he's not. Gonna Eminem do that. could probably he's not gonna do that. Eminem could afford that. Yeah, but they're not gonna do that. They might not do it, Out but they respect. could afford it. Respect, and it's not their place. Yeah, it has to be like this is hip hop we're talking about, right? Yeah. So, nah, you can't step out of line like that, right? It's just good to see that there's way more people in position. Yeah, to that can just say, that. you know what, I want that. That are from the culture. Once upon a time, let's use you do that auction. Let's say twenty years ago. There's only executives oh, who are going yeah. to be able to afford that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Master saying? P or something yeah. like that. Now mans can pull up to that auction smelling like weed, bare chains on their neck. You know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> freaking have um, 800 million in, on the stash. Right there. But you're going to be competing with like DSPs, like freaking Spotify, oh. Apple Music, all and record labels too who are going to be like, we want this. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, why not? Yeah. yeah. Rock Nation. They're going to send an assistant to just do this. Rock thing. Nation. Well, that's Jay. And that's the only one that who could buy it back. Right? Now, Rock Nation, I'm sure, will probably have a rep in there. Like, yo, you know, mm -hmm. 25. <laughs> More than that. Just keep <laughs> putting your hand they up. Jumped, they jumped up, like, straight, like, yo, I'm 100 mil. 200. Right? But, yo, that's the thing. Once you start getting into murky waters and it starts not being an ROI, but it's just so, uh, a game piece for somebody else because they have that kind of money, then you got to back out, fam. You got to be like, yo, okay, listen. I got to stop at 150 mil because after that, it's not worth having that, you know, what, just yeah. to have it? Like, you're taking it out of my stash now. 
while this rich sultan guy is like <laughs> two three hundred million. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're not even cracking the guy's weak stash, bro. Yeah. That's his week's freaking income. Yeah, I know. He's like, send that, send that. <laughs> I have it right here on the camera. Let me get two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. There's people with money, money yeah, in the world. Yeah, eh? you, know, yeah. you don't even know about. Yeah, it goes to some guy that. He has like five names. Yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. You find out he's like a he has three hundred billion dollars in the bank. You're like, oh, sorry, I'm out. <laughs> Going home. Keep that Rockefeller shit. Bro. Yeah, yeah. We'll try again another time. I, would, I really want to tune into this auction. I hope I, it's I on TV or, so. or live stream. That's going to be hip hop history right there. Okay, that catalog. Jay Z being known as one of the greatest rapper, if not the greatest rapper of all time. Yep. Getting his first album and being an owner of it, not just, you know, being able to have like a special copy or some shit like Martin Screlly. <laughs> he just has like a special Wu Tang album. album. He doesn't own a percentage of the right. Wu Tang. Gold one? Hmm? What is it? Like the gold one that came in like a it case? It was like some special one that even the Wu Tang members are like, I didn't even like my bars on there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, imagine he owned Wu Tang, like a percentage of Wu Tang publishing and everything. Every time you hear Wu Tang, you're paying this guy. Right? Yeah. The, 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 the 36 Chambers album, like Martin Scruddy gets money off of that. That would hurt, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't want, yeah, like, yeah. keep your little album, bro. Yeah. But now owning a percentage of somebody's baby? That's why Jigga's probably like, yo, I gotta go get that back. Like, you can give that to Blue. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, salute to everybody who's going to be at the auction. Yeah, please televise that shit. Yes. Please put it on Amazon. No, something. it will be on his network. Who on who, Jay? Dame, Damon Dash's network. <laughs> no, he has his own network. I know he does, but if he's showing the auction of his shit getting sold off. He's down bad, bro. Network, he is clearly down bad. Down he's bad. Like, Yo, got to pay back whatever. <laughs> That's my shit. Watch. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, at least I can monetize that. that. <laughs> probably banned his ass. We love hip hop. Hip-hop. Hip-hop.